Sorry, that was kind of gross. I had to make sure we didn't have <laughs> it like. Alright, so these batteries, they're heavy. Each of those modules is like 55 pounds, give or take. <clears throat> the front one has two of them. And while, you know, I could probably deadlift 110 pounds plus the box, which is probably another 20, I'm not deadlifting it up into this car and trying to, you know, get it in its final spot. So we got a transmission jack here, is what it's technically known as, but we're going to use it to place the front batteries um, up front now that everything's, you know, kind of ready to put together. All right, so the junction box and controller panel is not all put together yet, but that's what we're doing now. That's what this video is gonna be about is everything's placed. You know, we talked about the electricity last time, the batteries and everything. They're all built. Everything's pretty much built. Now it's just, just putting it all together, connecting wires and getting to that point. So we built this, you know, you can see it up close and personal now. Um, <clears throat> the junction box where, you know, everything comes in. Um, everything goes out as far as high voltage. Um, there's a couple low voltage things in there, but overall, you know, we're pretty happy with how the, um, the controller panel came out. And then of course this lower area down here is where our two chargers and our DC to DC con converter are gonna go. But um, yeah, that's kind of the, um, the brains of the system kind of right here. <laughs> So we uh, just had our first trade show. We kind of ran like hell to get this where it's at now. And it's, you know, you see wires still hanging out, high voltage stuff, don't worry, they're not hot. Um, to get this presentable for a, uh, a trade show, local expo center, kind of announced the brand here locally. Uh, it was an amazing success. Um, the local, one of the local radio stations, 96.7 KCMQ, and the man show is what it was called, kind of man-centered things, you know, alcohol, um, hunting, fishing, um, cars, outdoor stuff, and um, huge hit. We, I mean, people were saying our corner of the, um, the trade show, the expo, was hard to walk through because there were so many people. So 
And then I think this is why, you know, a lot of people kept walking up and like, I thought you were car audio when I saw the boxes in the back. And then I realized, holy crap, that is high voltage stuff. And um, sure enough, you know, we blew a bunch of people's minds with this uh, Lotus out there. So as you can see, it is just a mock-up stage, still a few things to tweak. So if you see something off, it is getting updated. Um, and maybe if you can point it out in the comments, good kudos to you. But um, we're kind of just making sure everything fits in here right. You know, we've already kind of gone over it earlier in the video, how everything's going to sit. But this is kind of like the roughest draft of the final look um, that we're going to have back here. And yes, the roof does fit on the back, the, um, the rear hood cover. But um, outside of that, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, we've got, you know, the AC line hooked up here. This is going to, you know, come around, hook up to the AC compressor. Um, we've got the, the dual chargers um, pigtailed together. Um, you know, the DC to DC converter, it's wired in. We've got to wire the dual um, chargers into the junction box that we kind of showed you earlier. But um, we're just waiting on some heavy enough wire for that. So, you know, unfortunately, we didn't get it wheel spinning to show that off at the show. But honestly, I don't think we would have had enough time to, to, to spin wheels for people. It was just that much of a madhouse. But you can see it now. This is what it's roughly going to look like. You know, hopefully the next Lotus video um, is wheel spinning. And this kind of buttoned up, looking how it's supposed to look. And uh, really excited for that. So we'll catch you on that one. Bye. Boom, nailed it. <laughs>